This is Boxing Tickets NA in association with SB Sports and, and Chaco. Uh, we're here at the Uber Hotel and we're here with the main man, the Murph. Um, just obviously after coming out there and I guess obviously your predictions came through so you've become Mystic Meg, but um, I'm sure you're delighted with your performance tonight. Yeah, over, overjoyed to be honest. Everyone came out here, screamed my name off, brought such a smile to my face hearing people spur me on like that. I don't think I could have got that stoppage without the crowd cheering me on, so thank you. The um, obviously headlining uh, second pro fight, and you're obviously headlining the, sh the show here for Martin Love show card tonight. Um, was there any added pressure to obviously perform? Because obviously you said you were going to get the stoppage. Was there any added pressure tonight, or was it just obviously a case of just going through the motions as you as you seem to be doing so far? Well, really, I, I, I'm my own worst enemy. Like I always have the pressure from myself that I'm fighting in a main event, basically, because you know, put a lot of pressure on myself to perform and do people proud. But you know, I've done this before in the Ulster Elite, the headline that, which was a big step up. So, you know, when the spotlight is on me, I do tend to shine, like step up. And, and obviously, your opponent tonight, Sam Menville, Um You know, I guess sometimes when you're you're starting off in your first, second, third, fourth fights, you can sometimes get relatively people. It's easy. Sam, Sam Evo was obviously far from that tonight. He obviously came very strong, very strong and durable opponent as well. And I guess you were hitting him with big shots, and and it wasn't going down. You're sort of going, what's going on? Um, you know, I guess that probably shows the talent and the belief that Mark and and Dean and everybody else has in you that they're able to give you a really good, solid matchup in your second fight. Yeah, well, that's what it's all about, getting me competitive matchups. I'm not here, like, that's what I mean. I could have had an opponent for my show in November, but it would have been someone I would have just punished about, and that's ripping people off for their monies. I want people to come support me, knowing that they're going to get a competitive matchup and not robbing them of their t ticket money. So that's what I hope to continue doing, because that's, that's going to stand by me and bring me on loads. Um, when are you hoping to be back out next? Obviously, I think Mark's just announced uh, Eric Donovan, obviously, in a card here on the, the 14th of May. Um, I'm obviously, I'm guessing, you know, once, once you start to settle down, because you're probably still, you're probably body temperature is still through the roof, obviously, with your, the, the adrenaline kicking and everything else, but I'm sure you'll obviously be speaking to Mark and getting yourself out in May. Well, my mindset is I haven't even spoke to Mark yet, but I'm going to be treating it like I, I might be fighting in two weeks because you never know what Mark has in store. Not many people know this, but when I debuted in September, we were trying to get me out to Slovakia two weeks after, and I, I was gone. Like, I did go celebrate, have a few drinks after my debut, but I was still ready to take another fight, go over and get another win. And I'm ready to do that again in two weeks. So, so I, guess, I, guess, I guess it's a case of just whenever Mark can get you a fight. Um, probably, you know, you fought at lightweight now, you fought at super, super feather. It's so obviously next time around, you obviously come down a few more pounds and, and obviously try and make um, featherweight for the next, next time you're out. I could have made featherweight for this fight. I think I weighed 58.8. I think the featherweight lim limit for not being a champion is 58 kilos. So, as you've seen, I, I don't even need to necessarily. Like, I'm big enough for super fever, but in the future for titles, I do see myself fighting at, at a lower weight like featherweight. So, I'll build up towards that. And, and how did you find, obviously, coming down a wee bit in weight tonight? Did you feel, feel you had obviously more energy? Because obviously, you're, you're a very fit guy. Um, you obviously do the miles, obviously you and Carl are obviously flat out, run, running the bridges and everything else, but did you find it obviously a few extra pound off tonight, did it obviously make any difference? To your performance? Yeah, it made me perform better. I wasn't even fully dieting. Like, I was eating carbs plenty at the weekend before, so just a bit of body manipulation, which I know f from cutting loads in the past, and I made made the weight easy as pie like, so uh, I, I was really strong at the weight, so I'll, let's see where I'm at if I were too. Yes, no, well, listen, Colin, thanks very much for your time. Obviously, enjoy, enjoy your win. And um, we'll get the, the lottery numbers off you tomorrow for next week. Thanks for coming, Steve. You can support me as well. Cheers, take care.